Hello, this morning I promised you to also show you and give detailed instructions on how to write and compile and upload code directly from a Linux command line into our microcontrollers. And uh, for this I'm now at my stationary PC here and I have the Windows Ubuntu subsystem installed on this machine which is a real Ubuntu and I'm actually in a directory which I made for the purpose here and uh, so in this directory I already copied the make file which is also available on Studium so if we look what I have in the directory here it's just the make file let's have a look at the make file let's do a nano make file here and for those of you who don't know nano is a very primitive text editor um, and good enough for the purpose here so in the make file we have two rows here defining the name of the uh, microcontroller it's an 80 mega 32u4 or in short an m32u4 uh, the clock speed fcpu is defined here so that our compiler knows that the chip is running at 8 megahertz 8 million ul u for unsigned l for long int then we have a line telling uh, that actually the compiler should be avr gcc object copy which will be the linker which will move together the libraries and the main code into one single file it's uh, avr object copy and then we have a couple of flags here and uh, these are standard flags which i will not change or touch right now um, it just is options which are then handed over to our compiler then uh, uh, specific for this particular computer the, um, the USB port for programming or the USB serial port is actually showing up under Windows as COM10 and uh, this maps down to the Linux subsystem as slash dev slash tty s10 with a capital S you have to find this out for your own system and uh, then the target name is main and we have source files actually we only have one source file so far and this is main.c then we have three different options here we have all flash and clean and all is actually the compiling part flash is actually invoking avia dude in order to upload the program code with the correct settings here we will see that in a second as well and we have clean to actually remove um, the created binary and hex files if we want to clean up the compilation results so we can exit from here and now we want to write some c code so in the make file it is said that the name of the source file should be main.c so i call it main.c and now i give it some standard libraries first we have to include the hardware definition of our microcontroller which is found in avr slash io dot h and i will also include a timing library i will include util slash delay dot h and now I can write some code and I want to do some blinking with the onboard red LED and uh, for this actually we have to start our main so int main void is the name of our main function and we have to put the brackets here and uh, this editor doesn't so it does support nice syntax highlighting but it doesn't support automatic indentation as far as I know and um, so I have to do that myself and now I have to do some magic commands here ddre um, the data direction for port e I have to set to 0b01 and then I have the 
endless loop. So I make a while one and inside this loop we will switch on the LED by giving this command here. We are writing the binary number 0b. Oops. 0b 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Let me see. Yes, that's 8 bits into the variable port e. Then we want to wait. Let's wait. Delay milliseconds 100. So give it a 100 millisecond long flash of light. And then we are writing 0 to port E and wait delay wait another 900 milliseconds so that we have a short flash of light every second um, 900 like this okay and this code should be correct and should compile so I do a control O to write the file control X to exit and I make all. And no error messages. I perhaps should activate some verbose messaging so that we can see the same information that we see in the other utilities as well. For example, how much memory is taken up. Um, but for now, let's have a look instead what kind of files were created. And so we now have the main.c, which we just wrote. Then we have main.bin, which is a binary compiled file. And then we have a hex file, which is actually uh, the code which we want to flash, copy, burn into our microcontroller. And in order to do so, we will have to run make flash. But before we execute this command, we have to put the microcontroller into programming mode. And we do this again by double clicking the reset button like this. And now I press enter here and it's programming. And uh, I'll show you what well, you now see. There's a short flash and a long pause, short flash, long pause. Um, in the meantime, actually, we got this output on our Ubuntu command line, connecting to programmer, found programmer ID Caterin, which is the name of the bootloader, software version 1.0, um, and a lot of information about that. Device signature 0x1e9587, probably an M32U4. And the uh, flash memory has been specified, an erase cycle will be performed. So it will f be first erase the co and contents and then burn the new contents. Erasing chip, reading input file main.hex, flash writing 246 bytes of code. Um, these were written, verifying and verifying 246 bytes of flash verified. And everything seems okay. And it was okay. So this is how you can do it without any IDE, just from a command line, which is possible under all three operating systems, Linux, MacOS, and Windows, as you can see as well.